Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I want to talk about the data set that I would captured on the first light of the A8050 camera. What I would like you to do is I would like you to download in the description below the complete data set, process it, and return the results to me. Whether you're a beginner or you're an expert or whatever your skill level set is, go ahead, process it, return it, and I would like to see the results of this uh, data set and I'll feature your processed image in the next video. What I'm going to do today is we're just going to review the results of this image set and then in a future video I will go through my steps processing the data so you can see what I do. Let's review the contents of the zip file. One thing I should note is that as you start to download these uh, zip files, the services that I use, they may temporarily go down. So I'll put down two links. I'll put a, 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 a copy link and a Dropbox link. So if one link doesn't work, try the other. Uh, just that sometimes when everyone downloads it all at the same time, it's a, it's a large file. It's probably, I think it's like 1.7 gigabytes and it's a hundred different files in this uh, data set. Uh, anyway, let me just go ahead and I'll show you what's in here. We have the calibration folder. In the calibration folder, uh, there's the bias, and we also have uh, the darks folder, and I also have the flats. Uh, the flats I made for each one of these uh, image sets, uh, I usually I have 20 of each, uh, so make sure you use the correct flat with, uh, with the correct frame. Uh, this particular example I'm showing here is the hydrogen alpha flat so you would combine that or use the hydrogen alpha flat when you uh, worked on the hydrogen alpha data set now each one of the raw data sets are uh, kept in uh, H alpha O3 and S2 so this is a narrow band image set and it's the narrow band image set of NGC 281 here's the uh, flat frame of a uh, hydrogen alpha of uh, filter set here uh, the, you know the purpose of all of the uh, the flats the darks and the bias is to uh, relieve camera noise from your image uh, to make a better image and that's why it's important to uh, take the these different calibration frames uh, this right here I just moved it the, the screen stretch from a uh, range but you can see how in a flat it'll take out some of the vignetting uh, around the corners there uh, then we go to a uh, a dark frame and here is a dark frame of course you can see uh, the different kinds of white dots and noise that's uh, in the camera now these image sets or the uh, the length of the exposures on these image sets is 1200 seconds and let me show you what the bias frame now the bias frame of course is just the shortest possible exposure uh, your camera can take and this is a, a noise value that will be subtracted from the image uh, taking a look at uh, some of the raw frames like this is right here is a raw s2 frame uh, the, the s2 frame uh, there is some data in here uh, not a whole lot let's take a look at this bump it up a bit into high so you can see it but this is the the raw frame and the raw frame without any calibration frames uh, subtracted you can see there there is a lot of noise uh, in the frame here now let's take a look at a, an O3 version of this here's the O3 let's pull it over here to the center and take a look at it here uh, take the stretch value and make it high so we can see more of the data. And again, there's uh, you know some of the data set right there. And then the hydrogen alpha, that seems to be the channel that uh, had the most uh, uh, data on this target. And let's go ahead and just bump that up so you can take a look at it. Now one of the things that, um, that I like to do whenever I'm out in the field is I like to check to see how well my uh, stars are in the corners and uh, what I did is I just did a quick stack of each one of these uh, here is the um, the S2 and this was stacked 
and you can see that I do have some problems like I said this is my very first light with this uh, data set I'm not sure I think my spacing was a little bit off on my uh, reducer there so that could be what I'm uh, getting these uh, uh, little uh, aberrations there in the star uh, I like to look at the corners just to see how well you know this is a uh, a 1200 second uh, exposure 20 minute uh, uh, exposure so for 20 minutes it it looks okay but of course when you look at the corners up here you 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 hope that you have nice uh, round stars um, the central part of the uh, data set looks like it's uh, uh, doing uh, pretty well there and then here right here is the uh, 03 uh, version of it and and you can see it's uh, once you get it stacked with the calibration frames, the uh, the noise that you saw in the uh, earlier frames, like here's an O3 that was stacked, and here's an O3 frame that uh, was just a single frame and didn't have any calibration. So it's kind of, it's important to remember that when you uh, get out and start looking at these images. Uh, last shot here is the um, hydrogen alpha and the hydrogen alpha really has some um, nice detail in there uh, this is an unprocessed uh, stack here this is just stacking the image and uh, just showing you what the results of, of, of that is uh, what I would like you to do is go ahead uh, process this data set return it to me and I would like to feature your image in uh, an upcoming video so uh, please take the time go through the data set and return your image of this data set to me thank you uh, looks like it's starting to rain a little bit hey if this is your first time watching I would like you to subscribe I publish two astrophotography videos on the first and 15th of every month thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon